Wars fans, I'm Kristen Brophy. And I'm Caroline Ogawa. And this is our last episode of the season here at Cal TV Sports, and my last episode ever. And so we thought, in honor of that, we should take the time to honor Cal's athletes who have given us something to talk about for the past year. So we've started our best awards. Sports ever awards, that is. Uh, our version of the ESPN Awards. So stay tuned to the end of the episode because we'll have awards for the best female and male athletes, the best coach, and the best team. But before we get into that, we need to bring you some news about what's happening this weekend. On the baseball diamond, men's baseball is traveling to Arizona to play three games this weekend, and 13-ranked UC Berkeley women's team will be playing Arizona at home this weekend for their last three regular season games. Besides the big batting in Arizona, most of the other teams are going to be in Stanford this weekend. Cal Rugby team is going to be taking on Army in the semifinals of the national tournament in Stanford, and they're probably going to make it to that championship match also. Men's and women's crew is also going to be in Stanford. The men's crew team is going to be competing to regain the Schwambacher Cup, which until last season they would held for 17 straight years, so it might be a little bit of a redemption match. The Cal track team is is going to be at the Peyton Jordan Invitational and they moved up from number 23 ranked to number 12 ranked so that's a big jump. And now the time we've all been waiting for the SQs. Best Male Athlete Michael Coe voted Pac-10 Athlete of the Week last week and our pick for Best Male Athlete. This is the year of individual athletes. Like Michael Phelps, Michael Coe broke US records himself. He ran the mile in 3 minutes, 58.62 seconds, beating the previous NC2A record by 0.38 seconds. That's faster than fast as far as I'm concerned. So I'm giving him the crown this year for best me on. Out of sheer amazement. And now on to our best coach of the year. It's another Mike, Mike Montgomery. His first year as the Cal basketball coach. And he took a team that was 16 and 15 last season and made them a 22 and 19. He also brought them back to the NCAA tournament for the first time since the 2005-2006 season. And he also brought game day to Cal and really gave Cal fans a chance to show off what kind of spirit they really have. But as much as we were impressed by Montgomery this season, we think that his best days are ahead of him. So true, Carolyn. Moving on to our pick for best female athlete, Ashley Walker. Though the Bears suffered a loss in their first Sweet 16 appearance, Ashley Walker arguably helped them get there. She's quick offensively, has a deadly three-point shot, is an all-around leader on the court, and the Seattle Storm agrees with me. She was a 12-player drafted in WNBA, but number one in my book, and that's why I vote Ashley Walker as the best female athlete of the year. And now for our last award, the best team of the year. And that has to go to the Cal women's swimming team, who claimed their first NCAA title this year. Helped much in part by their head coach, Terry McKeever, and also by their senior powerhouse, Dana Vollmer. Vollmer claimed the 100 and 200 free championships. But it all came down to a team effort in the 4x400, where Cal set a new NCAA record. Well, that ends our award show, our season, and subsequently my career. I'd love to say tune back into caltv.org to get your download on What's Up in Cal Sports, but do it next season. I will.